let's touch on politics. It's hard not to. Nigeria is one apparently will be the big second biggest democracy in the world in the next few years. And we're weeks away from hugely important elections. And what I found was your portrayal, you sort of, you didn't look, which was, I think, worked so well. You didn't look at a huge political um, shenanigans. You took it to a local level, to a personal level. And I found it so honest and so matter of fact and so normal whilst being so devastating and so ridiculous and so scary. I mean, I was thinking, this is just normal while shaking my head in horror, which, which is Nigeria in a nutshell. Was it a challenging topic to cover? Um, um, I think it was. I, I feel like I, I was, what I struggled with was, um, again, like you said, avoid how to avoid preaching, how to avoid stopping every five minutes and think, this is terrible. Yes, this is bad. bad. You know, um, it, it's, it's, I think that's what, what I struggled with, that how do I write this in a way that the devastation and the consequence is clear from the characters and not from my own interjections, you know. Um, and that's, that's one of the things I wanted to think about was the consequence, you know, and how things can play out. And I, I, one of the things that was important from the beginning, you know, one of the things I sort of knew, you know, about it was that it was all sort of building up to an election. You know, and this, there's this election in the background. We never quite see it happen, but it impacts a lot. You see them delivering rice. You see yeah. that sort of thing. It's a thread. Yeah. You know, and I wanted to thread that through it. And I, I did not know that it would be coming out in an election year. You know. <laughs> it just, serendipity. It was just serendipitous that it did, you know. Primarily because, um, I mean, I... I, I the first time I voted in an election was, I think, maybe 2003. And I was, even from then, very interested in how consequential they could be, you know, and also really thinking through how, how much power people really had in the process. You know, it's a question that I, I keep asking myself, um, even now as we get closer to, to the 2023 elections. Not far now. And I can't say that you left me with a lot of hope on the political scene. I can't say I came away with it, which I can understand because it, yeah. although it's fiction, it's not fantasy. So I yeah. can understand that. But um, do you, and I almost feel when I, I'm, I'm Anglo-Nigerian, so I have two mm. homes. And one of the most depressing things for me is watching both my homes decline into corruption. I used mm. to have one corrupt and one not so corrupt. Mm. Now they're pretty much level pegging. Mm. But do you feel there's a hope? Can you get, are you optimistic? I feel like I am. <laughs> in, and, and I feel like, um, sometimes I think it's a forced optimism. I think that with this election, there's a lot of energy that I love, um, that is happening. I think young people are really yes. mobilizing, you know, for this election. And I'm very, you know, excited that the first time since 1999, we have a third party candidate that is a real contender. We've not had that happen. Yeah, Peter B. Yeah. Yeah, we've not had that happen before. That is very exciting for me. And um, not 100 years old. <laughs> yeah, there's that. <laughs> you know, that's very exciting for me as a person. Um, on that front, I'm very optimistic that somehow in all that we've had happen, the system still drew this up. You know, we have this option at the table. Um, on the other side, there's a part of me that is just like, are the votes going to count? You know, that's that's really it to the end of the day. Like, are the votes going to count? If the votes are going to count, I think I can live with any results. You know, it's yeah. what, you know, it's like, is this really what Nigerians have chosen? Well, then we live with it for the next four years. Yeah. You know, if this is what we choose. Um, and that's, I think, is my concern. Um, there are a number of policies that I think are in place that I feel might help, but you know, we'll have to wait. To well, we have to, we have to be optimistic because we're supposed to be the happiest nation in the world. Wale Shoinka told us that only last year, so we have to remain optimistic. 